Thank you. Colonel, the soldier came in at 1,800 hours. He had a second chest wound in his left chest. We put a chest tube in. Now, how much blood do you have on him now? We have two units over there. How's he ventilating? He's ventilating fine, sir. When I started out as a surgeon, it never occurred to me that I'd ever want a part-time job. But being in the guard has added a whole new dimension to my life. We call it AMED. It's the Army Medical Department of the Guard. We're part-timers out here, but we're also full-time civilian medical professionals, doctors, nurses, and physicians' assistants. But what we all have in common is that we're here doing something we really care about. We got wounded. Move out. Rosie, this is Henry Sanchez. How are you doing? He's a physician's assistant, and he'll be taking care of you today. When Henry joined the guard, he found a whole new kind of responsibility he just couldn't get in his civilian job. So how long have you had your earache? We build an entire hospital from the ground up at annual training. And for Sandy Robertson, these exercises have exposed her to a side of medicine and a sense of excitement that she'd never encountered in her job as a nurse at a surgical center. The members of my AMED team come from just about every medical discipline. And each one of us has his or her own reasons for joining the guard. Like Cloyce Martin. He's a chief resident in a major hospital. How did the, Mr. Jones he's got a good position and a lot of responsibility. But he's found something in the guard you just can't find in civilian medical life. And that's the ability to help your country and remain part of your community at the same time. It's the guard's job to be ready, and that comes from training. We're a pretty varied group. We're all professionals with our own careers. But when we come together two days a month and two weeks a year, we have one purpose, and that's to become the best medical unit we can be. I spend my time in the operating room, and for me, it's the center of action. But there's a lot more to a field hospital than the OR. Just the logistics of bringing in the wounded on helicopters and getting them safely into the hospital area are enormous. The helicopter pilots, medics, and litter bearers all have to do their jobs carefully, but they really have to move fast. Because the sooner we get the patient into the field hospital, the better chance he's got. Triage. It's where we bring the patient into the hospital area, but it's a lot more than that. It's where we make split-second decisions that can save a soldier's life. Litter bearers, get him into EMT. Litter bearers, let's go. EMT, emergency medical treatment. It's our emergency room. And this is where we really see the extent of the injury. Take a deep breath for me, soldier. But no matter what job we have here, when you come down to it, we're all working together for one reason, and that's to save lives. Oxygen for you. I 
I've found that the most satisfying part about being in the Guard is working with a team that's so good at what it does. We've all got our own medical careers, but when we're out here, we get something you just don't find in civilian life. You're still a part of your hometown, and you're helping your country, too. For me, it's a lot more than just a part-time job.